been following the story very closely and listening into that news conference for more. So Esther, it hasn't been all smooth sailing so far. <laughs> We now know they lost signal with the lander for about 25 minutes when it was making its final descent to the moon. Now, right now, teams are working to transfer data from the moon surface back here to Earth, and they're doing that with a network of satellites scattered all throughout the world. And right now, we're all waiting for a picture from the surface of the moon. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. I do want to get one new image up on your screen right now. This was just shared with us from NASA and Intuitive Machines about an hour ago in their first press conference since this historic mission. This photo shows the lander about 200 kilometers away from where it touched down on the south region of the moon. Scientists pointed out the craters and difficult terrain the robot had to navigate when it approached the moon. Intuitive Machines now says the lander is probably not upright and instead on its side. We think we came down with, like I said, about six miles an hour this way and about two miles an hour this way and caught a foot in the surface and the, and the lander has tipped like this. And we believe this is the, surf, the, the orientation of the lander on the moon. And nearly 24 hours later, scientists say the lander is still stable and they do have communication with it. The sun is charging all of the batteries on board. Now, keep in mind, they have not seen any images from the lander at this point and are relying simply on data and code to really understand what is happening with the lander on the moon. Now, we did talk about pictures from the surface. These scientists say we could possibly see some images later this weekend. But at this time, scientists are not commenting on whether or not any of the payloads on board could be in jeopardy if this lander is in fact on its side. Reporting live in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Esther. And if that's not enough space excitement for you today, check out this live look at Launchpad 39A. That is a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket getting ready for liftoff tomorrow. This one's going to send another batch of Starlink satellites into orbit. The launch window for this one opens up at 4.59 p.m.